Yo, what's up guys? Today's gameplay is of course of Caps versus Power of Evil. G2's mid versus FlyQuest mid. It's a bit of a banger guys in matchup. It's Zoe versus Fizz. It's a little bit one-sided. I'm not going to spoil it for you boys, but it's a great game. And let's jump straight into it. Okay, let's get into the game now. The mid lane matchup is Caps' Zoe versus Power of Evil Fizz. It's on Caps to snowball. Twenty-eight Poke viewers. him out the early game. Oh. If Fizz gets a couple of kills going, Caps is going to get demolished late. But you hope that Caps can bully the Fizz out in the first couple of levels. That's the best way to do it. Red side, you have G2 Caps on Zoe. You have TL Impact on Set. Blue side, you have Fly Power of Bull. And you also have... Was there one more? Oh, yeah, fly. I'll try and focus more so on the mid lane matchup this game. Caps doesn't have a duo, so... It's going to be a little bit interesting to see if the Eve can smash the... My guess is Caps goes 10 plus deaths because Fizz Evelyn should just demolish him. You've got unsealed spellbook rune page for Caps. You have you have um stopwatch delivery. Try and prevent some of the Fizz ults. Biscuit delivery and Cosmic. And then you have, of course, look at the level one zone. Look at the brawl happening. Oh my god. Santorin dies. It's a one for one. Jesus Christ, these two mid laners. Caitlyn picks it up. What is Caps gonna do? Do they get the kill? Oh my days. And then you look at the zoning, the mid lane. Caps gonna try and weave some autos. Bingo has been hit. We could actually hit Bingo for the game, by the way. Level two. He goes, he hasn't leveled yet. W level two. Looking for some goodie bags. And he should harass this Fizz as much as he can under the tower. And pray for some good goodie bags. That's a... That was such a nice Fizz trade by Power of Evil, actually. And he has Ignite, so Caps could actually get solo killed here at level 3. 3-1 three Caitlyn at 2 minutes is not a good time, though. Bubble lands. Would have liked to see a preemptive ignite come out from Power of Evil than a flash auto. It's probably still doable, so Cap's gonna have to respect it and TP back, maybe. Yep. Power of Evil. Oh! What would have happened if he flashed E there? Caps would have flashed. They would have been able to react. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a one for one. The beautiful thing by Caps here, guys, is if you look at the wave, it's actually going to crash. So he flashes in. Caps knows it's coming. He bubbles. Then Caps moves in. Gets the kill. Gets the... Oh my god. Both sums. But Caps... And then if you look at the wave coming in now, Santorin wants to shove the wave, but Caps spawns in four to a frozen wave. That's so massive, actually, for Caps. See the wave? He TPs, he TPs back to this beautiful setup wave. Chug, chug! He's coming in, double bounce. He's gonna get the... Dude, he will get this kill. Caps roaming across. They want to try and find the Quinn, but it might be a little bit awkward. Caps. Quinn's gonna... Oh, not quite. Oh, he jukes out the bubble. Focus the double buffs. Can you get it? Oh, no. Wait, Caps! Aborts his friend. Teleport comes out from the Quinn. 
Yikes. Three and one Fizz. He's hunting. Monka. Oh, the vision just spotted, boys. If that vision wasn't spotted, Caps was dying. And the duo comes through. Santorin, ring, ring. I heard you need assistance. And look how the wave situated mid. Power of Evil just shilling. Five stacks on the Dark Seal now. The wave's a slow shove back into him. He can deny a lot of CS. And for all those people that aborted Power of Evil at the start of the game and said NA mid, you can't now say EU mid. This is an NA mid with a kill lead on an EU mid. That's how it works. I don't make the rules. Level 6 from Fizz. I think he might hit it on the cannon. Oh. He just misses, but he's going to weave him way his way in. Here comes the Eve, of course. Eve doesn't have flash. I don't think this lands. Nope. But Fizz is probably half a level away from 6. Once he hits 6, he should QR for the animation cancel, and then... Use your E to dodge out on the Zoe bubble. I'm gonna opt for the base. He mustn't be close enough. Oh, he doesn't. He stays. Ops. He has the Nimbus Cloak. He's speeding and he's dead. Well, this is not going to be a good game for Caps. Nice Fizz game, but Power of Evil. Very confident. Caps just limit testing a little bit too much. Gets caught by surprise. To be fair, they are shutting Caps down a lot, aren't they? Like, they're sitting in his lane a little bit. This is not a 1v1. Yes or no? This is not a 1v1. A bit of a 1v2, 1v3, 1v4. How's this mid lane wave sitting? They should both be six off this wave. They're really far behind, both of them, like tempo wise. Finally, the Olaf's gonna look for a gank. Oh, smite. Got to try and land the bubble here. Gonna be too much. Oh, Caps almost gets it. He kills the Eve. Can he get the Fizz as well? Oh, he lands everything. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it! Oh my god! What? This has Ignite. You're never going to be able to win this matchup. He tries to flash and grab the Ignite off the ground. And Caps is a little bit far behind, Sage. Gold lead is currently 1,100 for the Fizz. And the matchup doesn't get any better for Caps. That's a 700 gold shutdown. Flash. If Caps can get this, this is massive. Oh, he can't touch it. What? I have a time. Hi, What?
He tries to reach the flash. Watch this. See, he thinks he can R to reach the flash. He just misses it. Well, some games, guys, you get caps renaming to craps or claps. I think this game, a little bit of a craps. It's life. It happens. In order to reach peaks, you need to limit test to gather the data to get there. I completely forgot about impact in this game. He's playing set in the top lane. Completely forgot. Absolutely irrelevant lane. An impact molding at this EU mid, most likely. Impact coming in. Oh, that was a really nice setup, but they both have stopwatch. GLP. Huge shutdown over to Impact. Bubble misses. Oh. Caitlyn's Caitlyn so large. Five and one. I can't imagine this matchup for set is very good. Caps. The Caitlyn's worth a lot of gold. But you can't use that thing when you're against a Caitlyn. Oh my god, man. You can't use... You can't use Hourglass. You can't use Stopwatch against Caitlyn. It just sets you up for the bubble. Impact. Jesus bloody Christ. 30 kills at 11 minutes. I think we're going to hit 40 before 20. That's for sure. Let me just check my bingo sheet. Let me just check my bingo sheet. So we've definitely had craps this game. We had 3 plus kills level 1. We haven't had 0 medjis or 10k gold lead yet. A 1k shot down. No bingo this game yet. Nostradamus, thanks for the sub, man. Stallion, oh, Dave, thanks for the $40 donation. I missed that, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, Dave. One of the OGs. Impact drops. Oh, Mantheon. Oh, Pantheon in the game. I didn't put that in my bingo sheet. Kill. Oh. Are you serious right now? Get me a fucking... Give me a replay in this mid lane. Power of evil. Kate tanks. Kate should have tanked one more there, maybe. You beauty.
Gotta be careful when you pick this Zoe. If the enemy picks this Eve and Fizz, you're not gonna have that satisfactory of a time. That joke gets funnier every time. I'm dead. Stop. I'm, I'm, I can't stop laughing, dude. That's so funny. Thanks, Scruff. Oh my god, this could be it. Caitlyn has both sums though, what the hell? This is a little bit awkward. Oh. Come on. Oh, I feel sorry for the- oh my days. Caps bubble. This has got to be it. Caps and impact against the world. Oh. Really good attempt. Close but no cigar. So we have 10k gold lead this game. Oh my god, man. We're almost at- we're actually almost at bingo. They FF the game. Bingo is saved for another day. My god, what an absolute stomp. To be fair, Caps got ganked a little bit often, but he didn't respect the ganks. Power of Evil, we've got to give it to Power of Evil. He had a very good game, yes or no? The North American mid power of evil, which cap, which which my Twitch chat said is not EU anymore. He's transitioned to NA mid. He had a pretty good game on the Fizz. I thought he played a pretty good pressure lane, in my opinion.